Hello, this is Clemmy Games Recommends, my series where I recommend games which I have really enjoyed personally and I believe are worth checking out. In this video, we will be looking at Dominic Pampermoose in It's All Over Once the Fat Lady Sings. Dominic Pampermoose is a point and click adventure game by the developer Deatrich Squinkyfire, which was released on Steam in 2014. The basic premise of the game is that you play Dominic, a private eye who is hired to find a missing pop star. There are several twists and turns along the way, and overall I found the experience to be something different in games. So just to give a little bit of background information about myself, I am not the biggest fan of adventure games for two main reasons. First, some games have a pixel hunting aspect to them, where you have to essentially click on all the points on the screen to get to the next item required for the puzzle or to find an interactive object. Secondly, some of the puzzles in these types of games can be obtuse, which then means that they devolve into trial and error simulators for me, essentially having to try using all the items in my inventory with whatever interactable point the game presents to me, i.e. using screwdriver on door, using candle on door, using frog on door, using paint on door, etc until I get the correct solution. I get that writing is the main draw of these games, but the puzzle aspects of such games can sometimes be frustrating to go through. However, all that being said, I really did enjoy my time with Dominic Pampermoose. There are no obtuse puzzles, and most of the interactions involve dialogue with the characters, which leads me into my first point. The dialogue is well written, and presented like a musical. I mean, just listen to this. I have so much of a predicament. I'm looking for a certain man. Are you familiar with the singer? Casey Bingham, pop star extraordinaire. My opinion is that this is the thing that you come to this game for. It is certainly very unique and does expand upon the ways that dialogue can be delivered in games. Say what you will about the quality of the sing-song delivery, but I liked it enough to recommend this game. Secondly, the art style stands out very starkly against the backdrop of the majority of games today. The game is in black and white, much like an old television program, and the characters and environments seem to be made of clay. The animation is akin to that of the claymation or stop motion style, and I feel that this works for this game. Overall, I would recommend checking this game out for yourself if you are looking for something unique and off the beaten path. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel for more recommendations of lesser known games. Thank you 